Hello and welcome back. Clips Face here as always, and uh, this is Dat Yomu game. Anyway, when we left last off, we finished the first level, we finished the first boss, and now we're on the second level, and we're gonna go fight the second boss. But first, a bunch of enemies and mushrooms. This is where the mushrooms I was talking about earlier start to kind of come in. Strange kind of hexagonal kind of soil. Not too much to save for now, it's kind of, uh, the same, really. These are little gas clouds, we can't, uh, cut those with our sword like we can with, uh, Danmaku and other certain projectiles. It's kind of one of the things that makes dealing with the mushrooms kind of sucky. Now, um, Yomu can't swim. Not that that's canon or anything, but uh, in this game she seems to not be able to swim. So when, like I mentioned earlier, we fall in the water, we die. But there's not much, uh, not much that happens of consequence because, you know, we just kind of respawn. That yeah, sort of makes Yomu like a fairy in this game, huh? Some pots like these crappy blue ones that don't give us anything are basically kind of like combo fodder, so feel free to smack them around. Now we gotta remember to, uh walk around everywhere because that's necessary because we want to find all of those yellow pots. So we can be bigger, we could be a bigger and better Yomo. Music in this game is really nice. Um, I've never actually listened to uh, some of the strange and bright nature deity uh, CDs music, so um, some of them are unfamiliar to me. But the ones that are from the, the ones I am familiar with are really nice sounding uh, remixes, I think. Such as when we fought Cherno or uh, when we fought the frog. See, here's what I was mentioning earlier. See, Mion doesn't really do much, but when we get to a cave like this, it becomes a light source, and I think that's a really nice touch. It looks really nice. It looks really cool to me. Okay, here's our first yellow pot. Just grab that. I think of all the uh, Toho fan games I've played, I think this one is actually uh, one of my favorites. One of the ones I like the best. Granted, I haven't played a great many, but this is the one, this is one of the earliest ones I've played, so it made quite an impression on me, and it kind of set my own standard for uh, what I would look for in a Toho fan game. I mean, granted, it doesn't have to be as well done as this, but I, I expect it to be kind of like nice, you know, if I feel like playing it. looking for you. Okay, checkpoint. A little bit of platforming here.
Now, you're not going to game over if your score depletes all the way when you die, although, to be fair, I've never actually had that happen to me, so i honestly not really that sure. I've never died so many times in one go that uh, it actually ever got that low, <laughs> even when I first played the game. I didn't really know what I was doing. Here's another yellow pot. Let's break that open. Get the next piece of our next skill orb. So we can use more skills and have a biggerer and betterer yellow. Uh, somewhere around here there's some platforming. So luckily there's like a little fence here to st kind of stop you from walking off the edge. It is kind of hard to see in the uh, this kind of cave area. and in other dark uh, parts of the game. The camera angle, yeah, see. Camera angle doesn't really do you a whole load of favors, but it's not terrible for what it is. It could certainly be a lot worse. This is the one place where I don't want to be jumping like an idiot because you can't just jump over the fence. Like I kind of almost did there. I was trying to just doing it to show it off. I didn't really actually want it to happen. It would be pretty bad, actually. Alright, so we're gonna be a little bit more careful. If you use your POV stick, you can control the speed of your know, movement. Move into the point where she's just kind of literally dragging her feet. All right. POV is uh. Is, would be your stick. Be your left or right stick. That's what POV is. For uh, those of you who did not know that. And now we're out of the cave. This game actually does have a little bit of HDR. I'm gonna come this way first, although I think this is the way we're supposed to go, so I'm gonna go back this way. Alright, so luckily we wouldn't have been missing much. Unfortunately, the uh, skill will kind of just reset, and by that I mean your selected skill will kind of reset when the level changes, or if you continue. Once you get through one level, and you get to the next level, like say you get to the beginning of level 2, if you uh, quit the game and you continue from the menu, it'll bring you back to the beginning of the most recent level you reached. So if you just reached level 3, you'll get to the beginning of level 3, if you just got to level 2, you'll be at the beginning of level 2. That's pretty nice. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. And the thing with that is that it'll sometimes kind of change. Uh, what am I thinking of? Your uh, skills. This is pretty rough, but luckily she's not uh, too bad if you're careful. 
She'll do a lot of damage to you, but again, only if you let her. It's her lasers and her Master Spark you really want to watch out for. And then what she uses her spell card. Again, you can just use your shield skill. That'll always protect you. Your other skills... The other skills will also give you a little bit of invincibility, but the shield one is just kind of guaranteed. Luckily, the Master Spark can be easily avoided if you just jump. See, Marissa can't really, like, think in three dimensions, I guess. Considering I haven't played the game in a while, and therefore I haven't fought Marissa in a while, um, she's vastly easier than the Frog, although I don't... I can't remember if she's the actual legitimate boss of this level. Because we did only get two yellow pots, but, you know, I could have... Of course, you know, there's the chance I might have forgotten one. Which would be unfortunate, and we... I, I would just go ahead with... If that's the case, I'll just go ahead and continue. There's no point in going through the entire game all over again. I'll deal with it. This time that jump, but it's all good. Ah, oh, Marissa, you're just a sore loser. Alright, so it looks like that was the case, but we're going to go for, go on forward anyway. With that, see you all next time.